Okay, good evening guys. So for today, we are going to answer the Metrobank and Top Dep Ed Math Challenge 2014 Division Orals for third year. But uh, we will just answer um, selected problems in the difficult round so that we can uh, we can show to you the approach on how we can solve those problems under a time limit. So which is 60 seconds for the difficult round. So we will start right away. So for our first problem, we have... If R and S are the roots of x squared minus 8x plus 6 equals 0, find R squared plus 3RS plus S squared. Okay, so we'll now go with the whiteboard. So the problem is x squared minus 8x plus 6 equals 0. And we are asked to find R squared plus uh, 3RS plus S squared given that R and S are the roots. So basically, um, this one is not factorable. So you don't need to get for the roots or to solve for the roots of this equation since it will take uh, so much time to solve this problem. Since once you get the roots of this equation, you will still need to substitute it to this equation. So what we can show you is the fastest way on how we can solve such type of problems. So for this one, we can use the Vieta's theorem. So the Vieta's theorem states that in a quadratic equation, which is in the form ax squared plus bx plus a equals 0, the sum is equal to negative 3 over a. Product is equal to c over a. Okay? So what? After that, so... We can then solve for the sum of this equation. So the sum is equal to negative of negative 8 over 1. So this is positive 8. So for our product, we have C which is 6 over 1 or equal to 6. Okay. So based on the given R squared plus 3R is plus S squared, this is similar to the square of R plus S right since r plus s quantity squared is equal to r squared plus 2rs plus s squared therefore we need an extra rs so that these two will be equal oh once you establish the establish the equation so you can just substitute the values we have obtained earlier so this will become 8 squared plus 6 so that is equal to 64 plus 6 or positive 70 okay so that's an easy one so you don't need to get for the roots but you can directly substitute the formula or uh, the, uh, you can use the vieta theorem to get the sum and the product then just some algebraic manipulations so we're gonna proceed with the second problem for today okay we just need to erase this one first okay for our next problem, so we can solve um, problem number 5. So what is the shortest distance from the point 3, 1 to the line y equals 2x plus 5? Okay. So the given is point 3, 1 to the line y equals 2x plus 5. Since we are asked about the distance, so basically this is... Uh, distance between a point and a line so what is the formula for getting the distance between the point and a line so that is distance is equal to ax1 plus by1 plus c all over square root of a squared plus b squared so that is absolute value since we are getting positive distance here so the a is the coefficient of the x the b is the coefficient of y and c is the constant but you need first so this is a reminder so you need first to convert this equation to general form so this will become 2x minus y plus 5 equals 0 so once you convert this one to the general form you can directly substitute this to the equation to get the distance between the point and the line so this will be a so our a is 2 x sub 1 is 3 so the x sub 1 and the y sub 1 uh, denotes uh, the point 
plus b which is negative 1 times y sub 1 which is 1 plus c. c is 5 all over square root of 2 squared plus negative 1 squared. So the c here is equal to 5 since uh, this is already in general form. So this will become 2 times 3, 6, negative 1 times 1, that is negative 1, 6 minus 1, 5 plus 5, 10 over square root of 5. So if we simplify this further, we will obtain 2 square root of 5 units. So remember, for our MTOP contestants who so will uh, compete with the oral competition this coming March, so don't forget to include the units if it is not stated. So otherwise, if the unit is already as, if the uh, unit is already given, so you can uh, not in, you can you may not include this one on your answer. But uh, for uh, for uh, best practice, so you need to include this at all times. So to make sure that your answer is always uh, uh, always have the proper unit. So again, this is the formula for the distance between point and the line. So AX1 plus BY1 plus C. So you need to convert this first to general form. AX plus BY plus C equals 0. And the X sub 1, Y sub 1 is our point 3 comma 1. Okay, so this will be our final answer. So I hope you learned something for today. For more questions or concerns, please let me know. Thank you.